The Body Shop connects you with the hottest fitness models in the world. Learn the backstage secrets that most successful bikini divas, fitness models, and bodybuilders use to dominate their competition and land on the covers of magazines. Only here at The Body Shop will we allow you to listen and talk to the best of the best in fitness competition. If you're passionate about bodybuilding and fitness, you have found your new home. All of us here at FTNS Radio would like to welcome you to The Body Shop. Body Shop. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome your host, Andre Brick St. Clair. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brian Canone stepping in for The Bricks, who's on his way uh, into the studio here. And I'm um, just hanging out. And uh, Big Sean, what's going on? Hey, just having fun here, getting ready for the uh, big FTNS anniversary. That's We're going to be yeah, on exactly. the air for one year. So very Does excited about that. Does it feel like it's been a whole year? I can't believe it's been a year. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here putting a photo montage together for right. for an anniversary party, and it's just like, wow, what a year it's been. Uh, you know, all, all the guests, all the people who've been through here, you know, thanks to all of you. Right. You know, you, you've really helped us uh, build a great station here, and it's just really taken off, and we're having a great time. How many shows air during the day now on FTNS? Uh, on FTNS, let me see, one, two, three, four, uh, probably about eight or nine a day. Eight hours per day of new shows every single day. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And we're adding we're adding a, a lot more shows. We'll be starting a new uh, a youth fitness show this Friday. Okay. And uh, then on the uh, um, on Tuesday the twenty eighth, our actual anniversary, right. uh, we'll be starting a, uh, a sports uh, rehabilitation. So about uh, 10 shows sh per day running. When yeah. are you going to go 24 hours? Is that coming up? We soon? are playing 24 hours now. It's okay. not It's not live, but we are 24 hours a day because okay. uh, it's always uh, somebody's listening someplace. You know, when you're on the internet, when, when you're on the internet, it's, you it know. It doesn't matter what's time. So yeah. right, right now, somebody's, you know, pour, pouring their Cheerios in the bowl right now. You <laughs> know what I mean? So <laughs> it's 9 o'clock here somebody's Eastern. Somebody's waking up, right? Yeah. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We, we, have, uh, we have listeners in Australia. We have listeners in India, New Zealand. The UK, all over the world. So mm -hmm. they're they're listening in and shout out How to about you. How the out weekends? There. Are the weekends going right now too? Uh, weekends we have best of FTNS as well. Okay. And um, once we get the week filled up, uh, we'll be looking at the weekends. Uh, the weekends I'm looking to fill up with what I consider lifestyle fitness shows. Okay. And lifestyle fitness shows are going to be those shows like uh, running and cycling and, and snowshoeing and hiking and all those types of things. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that's what's going to fill up the weekends, okay. uh, you know. But the first, the first thing was to, you know, get our get our daytime the weekend programming. warrior shows. That's what you yep. have on the weekend. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just like that. And uh, you know, it, it's interesting because I uh, I read an article and I put this out uh, at the end of the year. Um, Oprah started the own network, right? Right. And uh, she's had some bumps along the way. Yeah. And Oprah, with all her resources and all the people backing her started with four live shows that was it we That's started a television network yeah uh, okay. oprah's own network okay okay so she has four live shows right. and the rest of the programming is filled in with you know repeats and syndicated stuff that yeah. she buys and, yeah. and plugs in okay we started with six live shows on the very first day right right now we're running over 15 live shows Okay. We were here the last day, right? Yep. The we yep. I remember it was a Monday, yep. and we yep. had to be here for nine o'clock to yep. go live. A a a and pretty soon we'll we'll have over twenty live shows. Right. Okay. And uh, you know our our resources are nowhere as near as uh, deep as Oprah's. Um, you know we, we probably well Oprah spends on lunch. We could probably yeah. <laughs> 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 Pro probably will finance us for for the year. You know. Gonna have the You're on mute there, Mr. Bricks. Right. Here there we go, go. ladies there and gentlemen. Is. The Bricks is there. Uh, I made it. I made it. So, I'm listening to you and Brian talk, and it sounds like we're going to have the FTNS network very, very soon, huh? Yeah, uh, we are. We are uh, here already. I mean, it, it's <laughs> buzzing right along. I like that. I like we're that. talking about you know it's been a year now since we've been on on the TV, yeah, that's on right. radio, yeah. on the radio, and, uh, radio, baby, radio, <laughs> yep. and. Uh, how many shows does the Body Shop have? We have to have 150 to 200 hours in here. Yeah, probably about that, yeah. Wow. 
about 200 hours probably uh, me and you are sitting here talking to people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> trying to promote a healthy lifestyle we're trying to teach people um not so much you know bodybuilding or or you know stuff like that but just how to live a healthy lifestyle along with how to promote yourself and capitalize mm. on your time in the spotlight because it's it's so mm. brief you know what i mean i mean it's it's very very brief if you don't capitalize on that mm -hmm. window you're gonna look back and be like oh man i missed it uh I don't know what happened, you know, and and well, our thing too is also giving a voice to people <coughs> that you see just pictures of, of you course, know, giving mm -hmm. them a personality, giving them a life, and uh, yeah, so it's been a year. That yeah, what, what 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 did it take to get there? You know what I mean? And that's really what the story of of the body shop has been about. Is right. you know, what did it take to get there? Absolutely. You yeah. know, th yeah. there's. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm each of our shows usually starts off with a little bit of an introduction to a new person, a yep. little bit about what they're about, and then where they're going. You know, and it's um, it's uh, you know, again that journey about how they got there, but we're also where where they're you know what their future has. So yep. we have um, we have someone on online, right? Yes, right. we do. It's online. Yep. Okay, so um. Go ahead. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. You know what? I've Listen. done it every single day for a year. Go ahead and do it, you man. You always pronounce <laughs> the names right, though. <coughs> but that's because you pay me to pronounce the name <laughs> right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have WBFF Pro. First time ever coming to the body shop. If I'm not mistaken, she won her pro card at Kevin the Rhode Show. Island show yep. this past, what was November it? 3rd. November 3rd. Please welcome Christy Zudlow. Hello. What's Hi, up? How you doing, what? sweetie? I'm doing fantastic. How are all of you? Oh, uh, we're doing great. Listen, thank you so much for calling into the body shop. Thank you for finally talking to Bricks and Brian on the radio. Christy. Well, I'm so honored to be on your show. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I guess it's your one year, close to one year anniversary. So what great timing for me to be a part of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Now, you know, um, <coughs> Christy, what was it like getting, uh, how many shows have you done before? Um, I have approximately done about seven or eight shows total, and four of those were within the WBFF, the awesome WBFF, I might add. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's really where I kind of, in my opinion, really learned the most about fitness and about fitness competitions, and so... Um, it's really where I stepped up my game. It, where are you from? I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Go Buckeyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, some of the shows you did, did you start locally before you started traveling to some of these shows? I actually had a mentor who was a previous Miss Bikini Universe, and so it was by her suggestion that I go ahead and just start with Miss Bikini Universe in Miami, Florida. And so that's where I started. And I really had such a fantastic time. So my first show was in June of 2010. Loved it. Stayed in that federation a little bit. Transitioned right over to the WBFF after that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on one second there, Chrissy, because it's very interesting that you mentioned that. But what I need to know is um, when did you first fall in love with fitness? Well, I, I fell in love with fitness as a kid. I had two older brothers that um, were uh, always involved in sports. I was always involved in sports, but um, fitness competitions was real when I met my mentor mm -hmm. and started in June of 2010. 2010. Okay. Do you remember what the experience was like, your first competition, both backstage, stepping on stage for the very first time, and walking off stage for the first time. Can you walk us through each one of those emotions? Well, backstage, it was great. The <laughs> girls were fantastic. They were really super nice. They were very kind. None of them had the guts to tell me that my tan was way, way, way too dark. Really <laughs> nice them. But they all were kind of giving me this eye like, you poor thing. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> someone really needs to tell you how to put on a tan. Oh, wow. But they were really complimentary about all my outfits. And, you know, we exchanged a lot of numbers. And what I really remembered from it was just how great the girls were. And stepping on stage was just the adrenaline rush and just the 
I just thought, you know, gosh, this is so much fun. Mm -hmm. I, just, I really loved it. Stepping off stage was the realization that I, I looked ridiculous with my tan, <laughs> and but that I had so much fun, and I really wanted to do it better the next time and improve upon the things that I didn't do well, but keep doing the things I did well, you know, again, and kind of, you know, go after it again. I was hooked. I was absolutely as hooked as someone could be. So, for me, it was just a part of who I am, kind of, mm -hmm. it was just ingrained in my personality, and I knew that, you know, I was absolutely going to hit the stage again. Absolutely, definitely was going to hit the stage again. Um, for, go ahead, Brian. Did, did you have no, any other? For sure. Did you have any other type of competitive sports um, experience <clears throat> as a kid? Oh yeah, I was in cheerleading. I was in track. I played volleyball for as long as it didn't interfere with cheerleading. Cheerleading was my love, my passion. Mm -hmm. And with that, I did some gymnastics. Um, I also was a swimmer when I was younger, um, and then played a little bit of softball when I was younger as well. But, I mean, whatever didn't interfere with cheerleading, cheerleading for me was sort of what the sun set on, much to, to the chagrin of my father because, you know, he sort of said, you know, well, you know, there's not much uh, a dad can do with a, you know, a daughter in, in cheerleading. You know, I can't exactly hold you up in a mouth. But <laughs> he was really, and he used to say as a joke, you were my last hope for greatness. <laughs> so, come on. So I fulfilled his hope for greatness with the WBFF Pro Card. Is he, he actually remembered saying that to me, and he said to me, again, as a joke, my dad and I, my dad's my best friend, and he said, you fulfilled the hope. I'm proud of you. And I said, oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> So, he's a jokester, and, you know, it's one of the things I like best about him. Right. Um, it's interesting that your dad is such a big cheerleader for you, um, because, like, when I first met you, you know, you was, you was backstage, and you was actually nervous. I remember talking to you, and I was like, calm down, don't worry about it. And you was like, I know, I know, I know, everyone's so pretty, and everyone's, <laughs> everyone's this. And I'm like, you got this, don't worry about it. And then, you know, I started dancing backstage, which is something I've always done with the girls and stuff like that. Well, but as soon as the music comes on, you start dancing. Yeah, I mean, you know, be right. because I like to take the edge off, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I remember what it was like when I was backstage, and I was nervous, and everybody's always, you got to get here, you got to stand here. And I'm like, yeah. listen, anything I could do to take the pressure off you know but is sometimes amazing sometimes you don't even know you're doing it though i, I see you up at the podium <laughs> at shows and it's like the music time you're lip singing the <laughs> song and <laughs> because i'm genuinely <laughs> having <laughs> fun <laughs> ah, thank you christy you're welcome <laughs> okay but the reason i said that is because what you do for your full-time job is amazing i mean you, you you're you you're in the medical field okay yes so how do you find the time to train eat and work out and still be a wife uh well you know maybe that's a good question for the hubby uh, <laughs> <laughs> that one. So if i'm in the room i get an a plus if i'm not in the room I get a plus. you know i think i get an a plus you know he he's a he's an awesome guy and i've heard him say without my presence being known that he thinks i'm pretty good so mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. I'm working on better than pretty good. Hey, okay, you know? okay, no, okay. But, uh, no, honestly, it, it is about being a good um, manager of your time, mm -hmm. but you do have to sort of recognize, like, who you are. And he has to recognize who you are, and you have to set your priorities. And who I am is a competitive person, someone that enjoys having that physical sort of fitness sort of need to let the stress out and this is a, a really healthy way to do that it, we've had two children mm -hmm. um, both of which came into the world under sort of really very stressful circumstance one was born 15 weeks premature wow. and spent 96 days in the and then came home on oxygen winter weirdly with two years of being um, a very immune compromised baby and really required a lot of due diligence a lot of a very um and very intense vigilance. And then our, our second child required 21 weeks of bed rest unexpectedly. Again, they told us, no worries, it won't happen again. You definitely won't have a premature baby. Well, lo and behold, you know, I started to go into labor, and we had another child that turned out to be a high-risk pregnancy. So with that, you recognize that life sometimes doesn't turn out the way you want, and so you need to have 
opportunities to reduce your stress. Mm -hmm. And if you don't and you recognize that's your personality, that your marriage won't be good and your family won't be good and your life won't be good. And so it may seem selfish, but it's really the best gift you can give to your family is to give yourself those stress management opportunities, whether it's fitness or other things, and it's healthy and it's good for your body and eating well is clearly good for your entire family. And by doing that, you're really giving everyone sort of a wonderful gift, and it takes maybe an hour of your time if you're not a train someone that's training for fitness. And it's a, it's a really wonderful thing to keep everyone in your household happy. So, yes, it's a lot to manage. Yes, you do have to work. Yes, you still have a household to run. Mm -hmm. But in the big scheme of the world, it's an hour. And for the payoff, right. it is, um, you know, far beyond what the hour of time it takes. Okay. Here's a question for you. When you're taking an hour away, um, you know, being a mom, being a wife, two kids, two dogs, full-time job, you're traveling. Now that you're a WBFF pro, congratulations, by the way. Um, Thank you. <laughs> that's Fair right. Proud. I was the one that said your name. I hope you remember that moment. Oh, of course. It's like slow motion in the brain. It's such an awesome moment. It was fantastic. Oh, man, I appreciate hearing that. But um, with with all of the many titles that you have to wear, you know, mom, uh, wife, you know, WBFF Pro, when you're taking an hour away to, to train and to prepare for a competition, um, do you ever feel guilty sometimes? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, I even went through a, a stage where, you know, certainly I didn't <coughs> give myself the hour. And I wouldn't give myself the hour because I, I spent time thinking, you know, you know I, I, I am not allowed the hour. I can't give the hour. Certainly with Spencer, who was my son, who was the NICU baby, who spent 96 days in the NICU, came home on oxygen. You know, wow. he was a fragile baby. <clears throat> you know, I thought, you know, I don't deserve this time. I, I was given a gift from God. He was saved. He was allowed to survive. Mm -hmm. um, I, can, I can be put on hold. You know, I, I don't... I've got to just give him everything that I can. Right. The reality of it is that I read, it's an interesting thing how God sometimes works. And for me, my faith is very prominent in my life, and I believe that God guides me in all the things I do, and I'll say that very clearly. Absolutely. I read sort of an interesting um, quote. It's not, incidentally, a Bible quote, but nonetheless, I still feel like it speaks to me. It was about, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. And... So for me, Dancing in the Rain was giving me some valuable time in the gym that was allowing me to mentally get healthy and clear. And by doing that, it, by giving myself that hour, despite the fact that, yes, I was feeling guilty about it, the guilt sort of went away because I became a better mom. I became a better wife. I became a better functioning individual because all of the things I was feeling guilty about, was I was so much more functional in because... I could then deal with everything much better because I was able to sort of um, work through those issues by having the skills, mm -hmm. um, sleeping better. You know, I just, your body functions much better when you allow it to have a stress outlet. And working out is definitely a wonderful stress outlet. It allows you, as I already mentioned, to sleep better. Right. And your body functions better. So whether you're working out to perform as a fitness competitor or working out just for the stress relief of it or for the health benefits of it or to look skinnier or whatever your goal is, it is a wonderful tool to use. And in that case, it allowed me to... Um, get back to my son in a better way. So the guilt actually was um, misplaced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't want anyone listening within the sound of your voice to think that you had it easy. Because I know you overcame um, a lot with, with two kids. Um, and as you mentioned, they were very high-risk pregnancies and and and, and um, you know there's a lot of stuff that you went through um, I actually do got to cut to commercial but I want you to hold on tight because when we come back for segment two I want you to explain to the people what it is that you've been through and uh, I'll lead you into that okay so Christy there you go Christy you hold tight listeners of the body shop y'all hold tight we'll be right back after this break 
It's time for a fitness break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back on FTNS. It's here, the newest weapon in post-workout recovery nutrition. This natural and organic all-in-one formula delivers the ammunition your body needs to advance on your battlefield and beyond. Introducing Am Nutrition's basic training. Protein, branched-chain amino acids, vitamins, minerals, good fats, and enzymes with no artificial sugars, colors, or flavors. Go to www.amnutritionhealth.com and join the ranks of the supplement revolution. Beyond Protein, the body's ammunition, Am Nutrition. When looking for the world's best organic apple cider vinegar, there's only one that stands above all others. That's the original Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. When it comes to your health, accept no imitations. Only Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar has the highest quality available. It's organic and kosher certified. It's unfiltered, rich in important polyphenol antioxidants. It's raw, not pasteurized, a live food. It contains the miracle mother of vinegar, rich in protein enzyme molecules highly regarded for their nutritional and health benefits. Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar is at your favorite health food stores or in grocery health sections. Learn more and see our video at braggacv.com. That's braggacv.com. This is Dr. Patricia Bragg, health crusader to the world. You will love my Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar and other Bragg products. World's first fitness radio will keep you moving. FTNS. 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 The Hardcore Show, turning chumps to champs and Joes to pros. It's time for you to take your training to the next level when just being big is not enough. This is Hardcore. Host Lou Santella will be talking with today's elite and extreme athletes to discover their keys to success. You'll learn valuable tips on strength, power, and endurance. The Hardcore Show is for those of all fitness levels. From the extreme athlete to the person just starting out on their path to reach their fitness goals. Listen to The Hardcore Show, Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on FTSN Network. FTSN Network. Seriously, Lou, if you don't learn how to pronounce FTNS, I'll be calling you Ulo. I said it right. (laughs) (laughs) Need FTNS on the go? There's an app for that. Download the FTNS app for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch now. FTNS, world's first fitness radio, will keep you moving. Welcome back to FTNS, world's first fitness radio. Enjoy the show. Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to The Body Shop. I am your host, Bricks. My in-studio co-host is Mr. Brian Canone. Bricks, what's happening? You know how I do, B. I'm just happy, man. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm happy because on the show today, mm. okay, I have a very beautiful woman who who is genuinely mm. a sweet person. Now, what I mean by that <laughs> is... You know how you get a lot of women and, you know, they look good and they're in the industry. But for the most part, and I'm being blatantly honest about this, for the most part, they're all superficial. Okay. This woman right here, Christy Zudlow, has never, and I mean never, said anything bad about anybody, any competitor, whether it was her first or her last show. She's always smiling. You know, she always has a positive word to say. And it's not fake. Mm. You know what I mean? So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the Body Shop, WBFF Pro, Christy Zudlow. Thank you so much. That was such a sweet, sweet introduction. I wish I could tape record that and listen to it all over. Well, I'll tell you what we did. I'm going to have the podcast up very shortly, sweetie, so you'll be able to do that. Want to hear about me? Want to hear about me? Seriously, again? <laughs> but Christy, but you know I mean this. You know that. Thank you. Know. You are so nice. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I appreciate it. I love the accent. Um, where's it from? 
Oh, well, I was actually born in Mississippi. Mississippi. So I was yeah. actually going to say I didn't really recognize. Like, what? Being from Ohio, I thought it would be more of an accent. No. Uh, you, you don't hear the country Ohio? twang? You don't hear the well, twang? Occasionally, Ohioans are, occur uh, are uh, accused of having accents. I've been, I've been told that before, too, which is that kind of baffles me, but I just go with it. I say, yes, it's true, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chrissy. Now, as promised before the break, you know, you gave us a little bit of background. You basically um, got started in uh, bikini fitness competitions, I believe it was June of 2010. Yes. And then this past uh, November, you won your pro card. So, you know, a year, in, a year into this industry, mm -hmm. and you're already a pro. Um, God has been been kind to me absolutely <laughs> but in no way has your has your climb to the top been easy i mean with um two high-risk pregnancies um uh where i want to go with this and and i hope it it's a subject that you're actually comfortable talking about sure, um absolutely my kids are my my life we can talk about them anytime absolutely is is that um where are you going with it, bricks? you'll see because uh, Christy got her start in the fitness world after competing in pageants. Yes. You know, and, yeah. um, and... Cheerleading, pageants. Right. And I remember That's her... Typical, huh, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were thinking it. You know how Brian thinks. You know how Brian I thinks. Know. <laughs> I know. I the vibe. But, um... I Spit remember. it out. Spit it out. Okay, here it is. Here it is. See, I was trying to give you a good segue. I was trying to build it up, but you know what? <laughs> Brian doesn't want I'm me to do you. drama. I'm with you. I'm okay, with you. here we go. So let me do it my way. All right, All right. Segue, segue. Okay, here it is. This is the beautiful segue because they tell me I can't do drama. I can only do comedy. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. Um, you know, 13 weeks after giving birth to your daughter, who came out by C-section, you was placed on bed rest. And I was. And then you actually gained 65 pounds. Plus. Plus. plus there. Okay. okay. We don't need to discuss the plus. <laughs> <laughs> Andre's all about the plus. <laughs> it was astounding. <laughs> I don't know how your nose gets fat, but my nose got fat. Your nose got fat? <laughs> <laughs> my nose got fat. It was astounding. I have a driver's license picture to prove it because I had to go get an update. Whoa. <laughs> all right. So you gained 65 plus pounds, yeah. right? Then you was yes. approached by the woman that you said, you know, is your mentor. I know who she is. I know who she awesome. is, too. Of course, Melissa um, Little. Melissa Hall Little. There She's it is. Awesome. Right. You know who her husband is. Uh, yeah, of course. Come on, man. Everybody knows who her husband <laughs> is. You know, he sells the gazelle. Right. Um, <laughs> she, also, she went through a, a pregnancy, too, right. with, with right. two well, little twins. Thing, she was pregnant at the time, which is partly why it was so intriguing to her. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you gained 65-plus pounds. And you lost it in about 13 weeks. Is that correct? That is correct. I was a fiend. Anybody who sits on their behind, on their back for 13 and a half weeks, with, excuse me, with 21 weeks, mm -hmm. with nothing to do but play yeah. on the Internet, yeah. uh, can think of a lot of ways to lose weight. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. Or, or a lot of ways to gain weight, which I first thought of a lot of ways to gain weight. Uh-huh. And I did that successfully, which includes peanut butter, or peanut buster parfaits, a dead Come on, queen, that sounds cups. so good. Oh, they were tasty. <laughs> <laughs> they were yummy. And my poor husband, he didn't know uh, how to cut me off, and he was afraid to cut me off because I might cut his hand off. Poor was, Brian. <laughs> poor Brian. <laughs> my husband was such a. My husband is an angel. Trust me, that man deserves an award of some sort. I just don't know what kind of award. I mean, it's beyond the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so kind and generous to me and he used to walk in like you know those people that used to feed like animals that are ferocious uh -huh. and he would like kind of reach out and hand it to me and like run, run. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that's I mean, like I, you I, bricks that's like with the brick yeah. seats hey, that, hey, that's how the brick yeah. seats the listen, brick man. sits down like this he sits down to eat go ahead tell him tell him the story here's how it goes he orders whatever is the biggest on the menu. He asks the, the waiter, waitress, excuse me, miss, you look beautiful today. Can you tell me what is the largest dinner menu uh, meal that you have? I do oh, do well, that. that would yeah. be this one. Oh, can I have two of those? Right. Thank you. Nice. And then he waits. 
Then he waits, and once they place the food down, he looks at it. He says a little prayer. As soon as he's done with the prayer, <laughs> as soon as you can't see his hand move fast enough, it goes right in his mouth. You know what? I, I live in admiration of that because I was there. I was so there. I mean, the thing was, like, no one was coming to visit me, so who cares about manners and such? So I was eating like a piglet. I'm pretty sure I would have been kicked out of Miss Manners class. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it, there was nothing pretty about what I had going on. <laughs> so, I mean, I had to get on it. You know what I'm saying? So it came a time when I got sick of me and sick of myself. It's uh -huh. not like I was looking in a mirror. I was allowed to stand up one hour a day. Wow. Which includes showering, using the restroom, mm -hmm. and... Um, uh, you know, eating. So, like, it wasn't like I was lingering in the mirror an hour because that was like the last place I was going to hang out with my hour. I had other stuff to do. Wow. So, I, and then I would be allowed to go to the doctor once a week because I had to get my weekly progesterone shots and, mm -hmm. you know, visit the physician to make sure that everything was looking good. So that was like the highlight of my week. I'd drive through every drive through there was. Like, if there was a drive through, <laughs> if I was allowed to be in the car for that hour, I'd be like, if there was a photo drive through shop, I would take photos of myself <laughs> while I sat there. If I had something to drop off because it was another place I could prolong being out of the house. I like and I that. I had them to call me like, are you still out? Because you're not <clears> supposed to be. <laughs> so anyway, nonetheless, I got through that time frame. I worked my fanny off by eating very healthy, following mm -hmm. my physician's orders of when I was finally allowed to become active, walking. I had a 10-pound baby. That did help, you know. <laughs> yeah, I lost big 10 baby. pounds immediately. She's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she was a little bit, and mommy wasn't exactly, uh, you know, skinny here, so I'm not saying anything about her, so. And then <laughs> together, I used her, uh, you know, we went on walks together. I just carried her. That's how we started because I was allowed. That I increased it by as soon as I was allowed to get more aggressive. I immediately got aggressive, and I was, it was like I went to my own personal military boot camp. And the more I um, did, the more I loved, and I knew I had a national pageant to go to, and I was not going to make a fool of myself. So I set three goals. One was to deliver her healthy, which I had done at 40 weeks. The second was to make sure that I lost the weight by the time I stepped on that stage because my evening gown was not going to fit otherwise. Mm -hmm. And I did that. And the third was to try and win something. You know, I wanted to win something. I'm competitive. And I set my goal to win the fitness competition, uh, fitness division of the pageant. And not only did I win that, but I won the evening gown, and I managed somehow to trick them into giving me first draw drops. So <laughs> that was a pretty good pageant. And, and then I met Melissa at the end, who was kind enough to come up and pay me some very nice compliments right. and ask me how I lost weight and offer to train me. She said, you should be in fitness competition. And I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. I've actually not, I had not heard about those. And she guided me through. And, you know, it's God's divine intervention because what is it, what, uh, seriously, if you think about it, who lays on their back, goes to a national competition, loses 65 pounds, ends up meeting a judge who happens to be Miss Bikini Universe, wins the fitness competition, has a, comp you know, has a conversation, goes on to enter you know, some fitness com competitions following that, loves them, and gets a WBFF Pro Card less than two years later. Only I mean, Christy Zudlow does that. That's it. <laughs> that's that it. That's story. Oh. That's the power of setting goals, mm -hmm. of believing in yourself, and of having really faith and, and letting, like, God work through you, in my opinion, that other part, too. Absolutely. Know? Okay, now, Christy, here's what I want to do, okay? And... While I'm talking, I want you to take a moment and gather your thoughts, and I'll come right back with my questions. Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want you to do. You have an assignment right now, and that is anyone that's listening to the sound of my voice, um, I want you to grab a pen or a pencil. I want you to grab a piece of paper or a memo pad, and I want you to really, really listen to what you're about to hear next. Okay, um, I'm speaking primarily to the women right now that listen to the body shop. I want to thank you guys so much. Um, as we touched on, you hear Christy, you know, saying that she lost 65 pounds and then went on to compete, but she lost it in 13 weeks, and it wasn't just fat that she lost. Okay, she lost um, unhealthy weight, 
she didn't lose any muscle she maintained her muscle which is what allows you to have that sleek slender sexy muscular look when a lot of people lose a lot of weight yeah. and they lose muscle they look horrible they look horrible you know yeah. they have the saggy skin Pain. yeah right so i hope everybody has their their pencil their paper their pad because christy i'm going to ask you to do something that you probably have not been asked before you give away okay. any secrets yes yes because only here on the body shop where you learn the backstage <laughs> secrets you like that little segue <laughs> right i'm trying to tell you i'm Segways. the best at what i do Segways. <laughs> <laughs> all right so christy here's what i want you to do for myself mm -hmm. and for 125,216 listeners and this guy right, right now here, this guy who wrote on their page and give and also give me a shout out and also i want you to say this right here to my <laughs> man jeff zimmerman you know what i'm saying yes, big jeff honey, i know you're out there listening you've been dying for this it is big jeffrey zimmerman you heard it here thank you for listening to the body shop i'll tell you what i want y'all to do i want y'all to call in okay one six five zero ask ftns that's one six five zero two seven five three eight six seven jeff that is especially for you while jeff is hopefully picking up the phone you know, christy as i mentioned i want everybody to go out grab a memo pad grab a pencil a pen and this is what i want you to do for me and for our listeners especially the moms the the women who think they can't do it when you lost your 65 pounds and you went on to compete again i want you to give them the the exact diet that you followed and if you can remember you know give out the yeah you don't have to say uh, a size and stuff just the foods yeah and stuff, you, you know, know. Sure. Well, I mean, obviously I was nursing, so nursing was a big part of it, and I'd be dishonest if I tried to pretend like nursing didn't play a big role in the weight loss, because mm -hmm. it does, and most women who have had children know that that is a big factor in how you can lose weight okay. as a new mom. So <coughs> with that disclaimer, I will add that. Um, I will say that really I was smart enough to know that protein obviously is a, is important part of any any diet when you're trying to keep your muscle. And so I focused a lot on eating clean proteins. And what I mean by that is if you're going to eat chicken, you don't ever fry it. You don't ever add anything to it if you can possibly stand that for taste. So I ate like clean chicken breast. Now I use Mrs. Dash No Salt for flavor on it. And no salt, obviously, because salt's not necessarily good for you unless you have a reason that you need to have salt in your diet. Mm -hmm. And anything that I say, you obviously need to check with your doctor to make sure that those choices choices are healthy for you. So um, I'm not a dietitian. I'm only speaking about what I ate personally. So I ate a lot of chicken breast because it was easy to make and sometimes you can even find bags of chicken. They have higher sodium in them, but if it's easy for you as a new mom or it's easy for you as a working mom, then you know they're better choices than choosing less healthy choices. Okay. And salmon's a good choice. Buffalo is an awesome choice, very high in protein. Those were kind of the primary things and I'm a repetitive eater. I can eat the same foods over and over and over again. So those were sort of my primary foods. Sometimes I throw on a veggie burger every now and again, but not very often. I also used a lot of mustard because mustard is also a flavoring that you can add that doesn't add a lot of fat or calories. Okay. And then I stuck with green veggies. Primarily they were green, uh, green beans. I used broccoli, and then I also used um, some asparagus. And then from then, I sometimes would, when I really was craving something, throw in some corn, you know, which is really not that great for you, but, you know, hey, what the heck. <laughs> and, then, and then I ate brown rice, and um, I also would have a cheat meal every now and again, almost like I was training, but I didn't know anything about training at that time. It was just sort of the way I knew to eat, just healthy. I was already, always a pretty healthy eater. And... Um, and I would sort of eat those things over and over and over again, and I ate six meals a day, so I sort of cut down on the portions, and I would just eat them more often, partly because I was starving as a nursing mom. So as I was nursing, I was eating, and that's how it worked out to be sort of more like a six-meal-a-day type meal. I didn't eat any desserts. I tried to chew some gum, um, you know, like sugarless gum to get a sweet taste. Um, and I tried to do some other things like eat fruit to get myself a sweet taste as opposed to eating any kind of desserts because I'm a dessert-aholic. I love desserts, <laughs> and I already admitted to. 
and that was one of the tactics that I tried. I really just tried to pretend like I was in Lent. Even though I'm not a Catholic, I always tried to, to honor Lent by giving something up, and I give up sweets because it's the hardest thing for me. Right. So I just pretended like, okay, no sweets. I couldn't have it, and I didn't have any. <clears throat> um, I never drink pop. So I drank only water or milk because those were the best things for me. I limited my coffee. I, we didn't have stevia then, so I was using Splenda to sweeten anything if I felt also like I needed a sweet taste. Um, the other things that um, I was using was yogurt for um, to get more calcium because I needed more calcium. And I just used white yogurt. Um, and that was really, that's kind of like what I'm remembering. I'm sure I'm forgetting some things, but my, you know, that's really kind of what I'm recalling that I ate quite a bit of. And then, you know, I allowed myself probably every, probably twice, you know, every two weeks I would have one meal that would be a cheat meal, which really wasn't much of a cheat meal. Like maybe I'd have one thing, like one, like couple bites of something that was really very delicious, not a dessert, but something that was maybe just a little bit more out of the realm of what I was allowed to have just to satisfy myself. Like a meat um, lover's pizza slice? No. Come on, Christy. Oh. Oh. I love Molly Woo's, which is a restaurant here. It's a Chinese restaurant, and they have a, a Hunan um, chicken, and I would get it unbreaded, and I'd have a couple bites. We don't want no Hunan Whoa. chicken with no cup of ice. You know what? <laughs> the hell with that. Here's what we're going to do right now, okay? We're going to cut to commercial because Christy just made me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See, now you're talking my language. Oreos, big glass of milk. That's what I recommend everybody to eat. Drop 65 pounds. <laughs> All right. That would have been great if you can drop 65 pounds on that, but I don't think it's going to work. It can work because Brick said it can work. Oh, so here's. No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen. I, I got to cut to commercial. And when I come back, we're coming back with WBFF Pro, Christy Zudlow, and. Um, we have some uh, interesting questions for her about the WBFF and her thoughts on on the industry as a whole. So everybody, stay tight. We'll be right back. It's time for a fitness break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back on FTNS. It's here, the newest weapon in post-workout recovery nutrition. This natural and organic all-in-one formula delivers the ammunition your body needs to advance on your battlefield and beyond. Introducing Am Nutrition's basic training. Protein, branched-chain amino acids, vitamins, minerals, good fats, and enzymes with no artificial sugars, colors, or flavors. Go to www.amnutritionhealth.com and join the ranks of the supplement revolution. Beyond Protein, the body's ammunition, Am Nutrition. When looking for the world's best organic apple cider vinegar, there's only one that stands above all others. That's the original Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. When it comes to your health, accept no imitations. Only Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar has the highest quality available. It's organic and kosher certified. It's unfiltered, rich in important polyphenol antioxidants. It's raw, not pasteurized, a live food. It contains the miracle mother of vinegar, rich in protein enzyme molecules highly regarded for their nutritional and health benefits. Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar is at your favorite health food stores or in grocery health sections. Learn more and see our video at braggacv.com. That's braggacv.com. This is Dr. Patricia Bragg, health crusader to the world. You will love my Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar and other Bragg products. World's first fitness radio will keep you moving. FTNS. 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 The Hardcore Show, turning chumps to champs and Joes to pros. It's time for you to take your training to the next level when just being big is not enough. This is Hardcore. Host Lou Santella will be talking with today's elite and extreme athletes to discover their keys to success. You'll learn valuable tips on strength, power, and endurance. The Hardcore Show is for those of all fitness levels. From the extreme athlete to the person just starting out on their path to reach their fitness goals. Listen to The Hardcore Show, Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on FTSN Network. FTSN Network. Seriously, Lou, if you don't learn how to pronounce FTNS, I'll be calling you Ulo. I said it right. <laughs> 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 Need FTNS on the go? There's an app for that. 
Download the FTNS app for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch now. FTNS, world's first fitness radio, will keep you moving. Welcome back to FTNS, world's first fitness radio. Enjoy the show. Yes, 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 yes. ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Body Shop. I am your host, Bricks. My in-studio co-host is Mr. Brian Canone. Bricks, what's happening? Ah, B, you know what, man? A lot of controversy in this this whole industry, man. Yeah, well, here's the thing. What's that? You call it controversy. (laughs) We're going to talk a little bit about some of the personal trainers and stuff I think we're going to talk a little bit about, and that's where we're going with this. Now... Bricks used to come to me, mm-hmm. and I wouldn't really take credit ever for anybody helping anybody. But you know, he, he in uh, especially competing. So like when somebody would compete, and I was helping them, especially because I was involved in the shows, I would never say anything. Right. I would even talk to people backstage. Mm-hmm. So they would have absolutely zero idea that it was something that I helped them with, and it was always I always felt that you know. Um, the person competing should walk away with all the credit and that nobody should actually put a stamp on that person Completely and say, agree. that's my trophy right there. Mr. Right. Bricks did this only because of me. Because <laughs> it's not because of me, it's because of your inspiration. And, you know, now, me, because I was in a different position, I wasn't a paid trainer, so it was a little bit different of a situation. But for most people, these trainers, they could actually make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And it is good to have a trainer, and I think that it's fantastic, you know. Um, you know, um, Especially, Christy, that you had and you worked with some people who are at such a high level that they can give you some experience, you know, um, talking about like yeah. Melissa Hall Little and um, but now I also, um, are you currently now with, with Chatty Dunmore? I am. Okay. I am so blessed to be learning and to be mentored by her. I just really feel privileged. Yeah, you know what? Now, well, how is it? Hold like, on, hold on, hold okay. on, B. Hold on, B. Because right, at going? the end of the day, Shaddy still owes me another phone call. <laughs> <laughs> All right? No, 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 no. Hell no, hell no. Listen here. <laughs> Come on. Me and Shaddy, okay, yeah. are very, very good friends, okay? We communicate back and forth on, on Twitter, so this is not, you know, just... <laughs> You know, pre-talk hype. But Shaddy knows that she needs to come back on the body <laughs> shop. I got her on tape where she said she was doing part two. Yep. All right. So that's my little oh, plug. I know she will. Of course <laughs> she would for you. Okay. No so next time you reach out to Chatty, you tell Chatty that Bricks is a little upset right now. You know, my heart is oh. broken because she has not been back she on the body never shop. Let you down. That's Don't right. Say that. So I need part two. <laughs> but um, speaking of Chatty, she has something yeah. coming up in New York City and. Are you going to be part of that? Well, I am certainly hoping I get the privilege of being part of that. So that's going to be a, just like such an amazing opportunity for people. And I certainly hope a lot of people get the chance to go out her fitness camp in New York mm-hmm. City on March the 24th. That's right. So can you imagine learning from a two-time world bikini champion who is also, you know, the Arnold Classic past bikini winner and, like, more importantly, to be able to win against the WBFF two times. I mean, <laughs> first of all, did you not see the photos of her last year in that gown? I am like, hello, Miss America. <laughs> hello. Scoot on over. I believe that she has entered the building. Nice. She and every other woman on that stage were so fantastically gorgeous. But she had just a teeny itty bitty. I mean, she's gorgeous, Tim. She's beautiful. Mm-hmm. She's fantastic. She's wonderful. <laughs> she is every bit the Miss America and the WBFF two time world pro. And she's going to give her secrets up. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know how I could miss that because I need to learn some secrets because I'm competing at the world competition and I would like to do well. That's right. <laughs> so you got the Worlds coming up September in Toronto. Chrissy Zodlow is going to be there. I know Chatty is coming back to defend that title. She's going to make it three times. Yeah, I and think. I'm not competing against her. I'm going to have my rear end kicked. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I don't mind a couple of rear end kickings of a lifetime, but uh-huh. I, I really, I'm going to get my rear end kicked plenty enough. I'm right. going to get my rear end kicked by my own mental. <laughs> That's kind of not exactly what I'm signed up to do. But, yes, but they're going to do some really awesome things at her camp. They're going to be giving advice in, on how to compete and win. Mm-hmm. They're going to be even talking about <clears throat> tanning. That would have been something I could have certainly benefited from my first competition. <laughs> Hello? You're still on that, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've 
I've since <laughs> learned how to do that. And like photos and just like magazines, like, you know, what to do for the magazines, which is always a big quandary for all of us. Mm-hmm. You know, like, how do you get in these magazines? None of us seem to really know, but obviously she does. She's on the cover of many. Yes. And how to train. Well, Chetty actually to has some things going on that are much bigger than fitness magazines. Oh, absolutely. I mean, even where even where this this fitness camp is held, she's like became the major fitness trainer of a health of a, like a hotel chain. Mm-hmm. It's like much bigger, you know. Like I, I sometimes I get like you know, a little frustrated. With some of the competitors that are chasing things that I think are, are aren't the right direction for them to go, especially you know chasing fitness magazines, trying to be featured. You know, um, Chatty's doing some things that are like much larger scale than that. You know, and it's it's pretty good. Um, She's an amazing entrepreneur. She has yeah. an amazing business mind. Mm-hmm. But not only that, though, you know what? Shaddy is much like yourself in the fact that with all of her successes, mm-hmm. with with everything she's accomplished, um, she's very down to earth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when we had her on the show and we mm-hmm. played her song. You remember that? <laughs> right. Remember that? I mean, like, like, like Shaddy is just genuinely a, a nice, sweet person that much like you, Christy, doesn't really have a bad word to say about anybody, especially people that they don't know or that they never took time to really have a conversation with, you know, not going around judging, oh, I don't like this girl because of so-and-so. I don't like this guy because he favors this and he favors that. L- l- listen, listen, let go of that, all right? You know, just just be the best person that you can be, you know, and, 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 and just watch great things happen for yourself. Yeah. All right, yeah. now. Christy, you know, because uh, I don't want to take up the rest of your time talking about Chatty, who definitely owes me a phone call. <laughs> so, um, who owes you a phone call? We know, and I, I promise <laughs> to say something. <laughs> All right, you now. are worth it. You are so worth it. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Um, with. All the different federations that you've competed in, from Fitness Universe into the WBFF, um, what in your opinion separates each federation and what makes the WBFF the place that you chose to call home? Well, I mean, I just think there's just such a, without disrespecting any federation, because they're all uniquely special in their own way. They all offer something to each competitor, and each person needs sort of what they have to offer. Um, For me, personally, I needed what the WBFF had to offer. Um, And what they offered to me was just a show that included, you know, something that was not hardcore, it was mainstream, you could be 20, you could be 40, you could be a cancer survivor, you could be Miss America, you could be everything, and it was every sort of like on stage, Mm -hmm. um, it was just like a, a great competition, you had to bring your A game, but everybody was absolutely backstage expected to have a certain, um, sort of um, rapport with each other. There was a certain expectation about, and it was set, you know, during during the pre-meeting, you know, the meeting that we had during registration. Mm-hmm. And it's just the quality of the show, the type of show that they put on. It's the quality of the people running the show. It's, it's just the difference in, in my personal opinion, the type of competitors. And, you know, the name or sort of the tagline, the best of the best, is clearly, in my opinion, well-deserved. I just really felt like I had stepped up my game and had arrived. It was time for me to sort of um, step to the next level and see if I could do this. Mm -hmm. I had questions, really, when I first stepped into the WBFF if I was ready, if I could could really compete at that level. Um, These were sort of like wow, look at these people, they are amazing, and can I really compete amongst them? And so for me, it was like the ideal place to be, the ideal world, the ideal people that run a show, the ideal way to run a show. And um, I was impressed with everything from the way they ran registration to the way I registered. There was not one snag amongst the process. And so I had not had... And no offense to anything else because everything I had been through before had also been positive, but it was just a, a, a polishing or a stepping up of the game, mm-hmm. you know, sort of an improvement upon what was good before had now become better. Mm-hmm. 
And I just, I absolutely just love it. It was an improvement on the overall package of the people in it and everything in it. it. It's hard to explain. It's just you just know perfection when you see it, when you're in it, when you're around it, when you're amongst it, when you feel like, wow, if I could be part of this, I would really feel special. Wow. And that's, that's the way I thought about it. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Um... Before we run out of time, Christy, um, there's a very important question that, that I want to ask you. Is there anybody out there that you would like to thank? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, if I didn't have, of course, as I mentioned, my husband holding down the fort as I go to the gym, How, my children who, you know, are so amazing that work out with me from time to time in their own little ways, you know, holding on my bands and, Mommy, you need this weight, and doing their very best to try and pick it up, you know and telling me that, Mommy, you look so pretty, or just the kind things that they say in support, or we're so proud of you, or, you know, I couldn't do it. You know, that's the base. And my parents who help out, um, and Brian's parents who really are very supportive of everything we do with the children and with Brian, um, and then friends that will send me notes and send me emails and send me Facebook messages cheering me on and supporting me, and you know, you know, you have your besties and such. I mean, it's just it's a real network of people. And then you have your competitor friends. I mean, mm -hmm. my girlfriend Tammy has been like the best, most amazing friend ever. I, I really just don't think I could do it without all of them. And it's it's um, gosh, the list just goes on. And of course, gosh, if I didn't have God in my life, I would never have made it this far ever. I mean, I would still be trying to figure out what to do, uh, you know, how to get dressed in the morning. So um, I just feel blessed. I feel incredibly blessed to have the people, the things that have happened in my life. And I just, I just don't know what else to say. I'm just extremely blessed. I like that. You know, right. son, this show flew by. Yeah, yeah. Really? I mean, this has been a very, very great, positive hour. And uh, Christy, we'd love to have you back if that's at all possible. Oh, oh my gosh, I'd be so honored. <laughs> I'm glad you come back. I'm going to stalk you guys. Absolutely. Oh, also, before we end off, I got to give a special shout out to at Shy Presto from Twitter. Um, you know, got your message, and I'm going to try to make that happen for my man Jeremy. All right. Oh, also, la ladies and gentlemen, please remember this right here greatness is already within you all you got to do is lay the bs down step over the haters keep god first and everything else will fall into place hey this is bricks i'm signing off for myself brian wbff pro christy zudlow super producer big sean we gotta go i see you when i see you you are listening to ftns world's first fitness radio online at ftns